Hi there, Sly Prepper here. You know, I post a couple things about being illegal, living off grid. <clears throat> more and more things are happening. More and more people are being forced to live an on grid lifestyle. While many people don't want to live like that, they have solar power, they have wind power, they collect their own rainwater, countless things. Okay. 2013 in Texas, the Garden Eden was invaded uh, by officials, handcuffed, looked for illegal substances stuff because they choose to live an off-grid lifestyle. And they also give classes free on how to raise food and make things and do things in that off-grid lifestyle. Colorado passed up things saying it's illegal in Colorado to have uh, RVs or campers in one spot to be off-grid. There's been issues over that as well. Florida, a woman who'd been living off-grid in town for a period of time, has solar energy and collected rainwater, was, the place was, got condemned. They changed her attitude on some of it. But then she had to hook up with water and lights in order to keep her place because she chose to live a total off-grid lifestyle. Another gentleman who collected rainwater to build uh, ponds with for fires issues, uh, off-grid uh, collecting rainwater for drinking, for his plants and stuff, was also arrested for that, for not having, first he was given a permit, then it was taken away. One of the car lots in the very same state had to get a permit in order to collect rainwater to be able to keep their water bill down so they could wash the cars and things. The expression was made is that the water belongs to the state. So the water from God, if you're a believer in God, and I believe in God, God gives us this water. So according to them, we are taking water away from them that would be going into the rivers or the lakes or whatever. But the fact is only 3% of the water actually makes it there. A lot of it is runoff. A lot of it evaporates in puddles. So the fact is, how can that legally be their water if you are collecting it in a barrel and it does not touch the ground, it goes into a barrel, a container of your own water. But nonetheless, that is the case. It is legal to live in RVs full time. So many of them, what they do, they join RV clubs and they travel around the United States. They stay at an RV camp for that two week period or whatever period they do. And then they travel to another one. So that way they don't have to. In Canada, they have something called the carbon tax. That's what one lady was telling me from Canada, that they have a carbon tax and they tax them for pollution of the carbon. So they had to pay a carbon tax. Another gentleman said that he had a 120 acre place and they came in and took everything. Because he chose to live totally off grid. He was living in a, uh, a camper or RV. He had a set up where he burned his own wood. He had it set up where he, he had a hole for his waste. He had it set up where he collected his own rainwater and he had full solar power uses and wind power system so he could have batteries. I'm not certain on the wind power. I can't remember exactly, but nonetheless, he was very self-efficient. And they came in and confiscated all of it and told him it was totally legal to live like that. Many people have moved to Alaska. Many of them are going deeper and deeper into the woods. There is places up in California, uh, Nevada, uh, Arizona. I mean, some of the other places as well that people are trying to go deeper and deeper into the areas to live more off grid. But what they're telling people is, is that you either go on grid or we're going to take it from you. So here's the problem. If you bought this land and there's no line coming to your house and there's no water running to your house, 
how can that be illegal if you choose to get solar power and wind power and you choose to set up a system, a septic tank system there to have your own water, you choose to get a well to have your own water, how can that be illegal? Because, all right, so are they saying is, is that you are going to have to pay for all the wires to get to their home. You're going to have to pay for the light pole. You're going to have to have your light zone. You're going to have to have water hooked up. But here's the catch. You can sell them back your excess energy. You don't have to use their energy. You just got to be hooked up. The fact is they're trying to make it more and more illegal every day to do these things. Colorado, if I'm correct, is the state I believe it was, that they are no longer allowed to build houses with fireplaces in it. They're not allowed to burn wood in the houses anymore. You can buy a house already with a fireplace in it, but you cannot buy a, uh, build a house with a fireplace in it. So the law is constantly changing. It's constantly changing. So people who want to live off grid or people who have chose to go off grid, who's had enough of whatever is going on, who's chose to be more out in the country, who's chose to, to do trapping, who's chose to do fishing, who's chose to live for themselves and away from everything, is being told they can't do it. Communities, people who have set up communities that have totally living off grid, are being told they cannot live like that. They're being told they get called hippies, they get called this, they get called ruggies, they get called that. And I'm not saying some of it's totally illegal. But what about these so-called groups that they use as a religious name? They tag themselves as a religious group. And they live off of it with no, they use solar energy or wind power or whatever, but they, they are a religious group. So they can be allowed to do it but how long will it be before that changes so living off grid is getting harder and harder and people are being forced to go more and more deeper into the areas people are being forced to be hooked up to the system whether they want to or not one permit after another is getting really out of hand in fact is i think more people need to have solar power. More people need to have wind power. More people need to have their own wells. More people need to catch rainwater and filter it and sanitize it. More and more people need to have natural gas hooked up. More and more people need to be more self-efficient and the government situations in each state. I'm not saying all of them's like that, but I'm saying is with the laws passing, and becoming more particular about things, it is becoming more harder and harder. We need to be less dependent on other countries for our gas, less dependent on them for our oils, less dependent on our supplies, less dependent on our foods. We can have greenhouses, we can raise our own food, we can collect things, we can learn, we can teach ourselves how to survive in situation. We have become complacent in this stuff. And as the laws keep going after the people who have chose to withdraw from all this chaos are being told they cannot do it. I like my internet. I love my internet. I want to have it wherever I go to. I want to have my solar power. I want to have my wind power. I want to have my greenhouse. And if I can hook up to the light system, I will hook up to the light system because I know if I don't, they're going to come in and tell me and take everything I have. So I have to do these things in order to have a home and live in peace. It's a shame to be like that. But it is the case. So living off a of grid, we're being forced to go back on the grid, whether we want to or not. I like my lights. I like my air conditioning. I like all the stuff. It's nice. I like the refrigerator. It's nice. But you can still turn around and have solar energy. You can have wind power. You can have the batteries set up. You still can have all that comfort by living on solar energy and wind power, by collecting rainwater, by setting it up. You can still have all this stuff and not have to be hooked up to the electric companies or the water companies. 
our descendants, our kinfolks in the past lived like that. Many of them didn't have lights. Just things have changed and they are saying you are going back on the grid. We're not having you off the grid. You have no choice or we're going to come in and take everything. So this is live prepper here. I want you to be safe, be happy. Bless you all.